and welcome to my realistic laundry routine that I've been basically going about this year, all right? As a working man of four, you guys, let me tell you, the laundry never ends. It never, 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 never ends. But I have completely decided that this is not going to run my life. So, yes, I'm so motivated and passionate about staying on top of my laundry. And that's what I want to share with you today. I'm so glad that you're here, as always. And let me show you how this goes down, man. So when it comes to our laundry, you know there's the usual, the clothes that people are wearing, and the more clothes. They just keep wearing clothes, people in this house, they don't know why. <laughs> so, but, however, uh, there's also the other things in the house that we clean ever so often. Like, especially when it's a day that I decided I'm really tackling the major laundry, I want to start first of all with curtains. And what I do is I take a room at a time. So you guys have seen me clean uh, curtains in my room. And then another day I will take time and clean the curtains in the living room. So I rarely will take all the curtains in the house and clean them in one day. Because that is how people lose their minds. Yes. And I kind of like having my mind. So I take it one room at a time. So on this day, I decided to tackle the kids' room's curtains. And while I am there, also remove their bed sheets, which we change once a week, thereabouts. And get all this worked, get all this clean before I go about the clothes and the clothes and the more clothes. Hey, if you're looking for a detergent for your washer that will leave your clothes smelling amazing and also clean them so much that you, they will sparkle and also, yeah, leave them just amazingly clean, you know, I will always uh, recommend the laundry pods. I really fancy the Tide pods or the Aerial pods. Or sometimes we use parcel and I will link all this down below and you know you have to use some scent bits in your laundry so that it smells like rainbows and daisies and unicorns you know so all those will be linked down below <laughs> highly recommend And part of our laundry, of course, is cleaning. Some clothes are hand washed. The very dirty ones are help helps me with that. And she also hand washes uh, and cleans our shoes, as you can see in the laundry area. And because I have removed the curtains from the kids' windows, of course, this is the best time to go about and do a deep clean of the windows in their room. And as I'm doing that, of course, looking down on the kids, having some great time there on a break from class. We are homeschoolers. If you are new here, if you are, welcome. And <laughs> we have been discussing the craziness that is the Kenyan schooling system currently on Instagram. Oh, my gosh. So anyway, if you don't follow me on Instagram, check me out over there. We're having some great conversations, but basically our kids are on break from class. Yeah. As I clean the windows in the kids' room, I will not go ahead and clean the entire room because our help has already done a good job with that. She cleans the, the bathroom in the kids' room every other day, then the floor as well. She's very good at it for those who are always asking, what does your help do? This is how we work together. I do some things, she does some things, boom, bam, boom. Everybody is happy. And man, I need to get a bank bed for these guys because they're growing so fast. I know they've already had grown these cots. That is vision 2023. Mm, yes.
Okay, taking a break from the laundry, it's on a Monday and guess what? We did not go shopping over the weekend, so we have completely ran out of bread. But hey, guess who knows how to bake their own bread nowadays? So I decided this is a great opportunity to bake three loaves of bread at the same time. I've never done this. Normally I just bake one, which we demolish immediately. But in this case, I do need bread to last us a few days into the week. So that's what I am doing. I'm going to link the video of how to bake your own bread right here. It is so easy easy and what i did with un one of the loaves is i decided to make it sort of a sweet bread so i decided to add raisins generally the same 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 recipe only that this time i decided to put raisins in it and also one thing i decided thankfully what thing one thing i remembered is to soak my raisins in some hot water for about 15 minutes to make them to make them nice and you know soft and they came out so well you wait and see So my first load of laundry is ready to be hung and I have like a million more to go. So let me just go hang them. And let me tell you, uh, you guys, the last time I washed curtains, I think when I was doing my bedroom makeover video, uh, someone asked me whether the rings that come on the curtains don't fall out when I spin. Imagine hours don't fall out. I've been washing these curtains in the washer for a while and they just don't fall out. So I don't know, maybe it's just the way they were installed. I don't know, man. And check out these tight containers coming in so handy as storage for my pegs. Like, say, what? But since it has been so so cold lately one thing i learned is if i want my bread or anything that i'm baking using yeast if i want it to proof well i preheat my oven ever so slightly actually i just put it like at 100 or even 80 degrees celsius 
or centigrade for about five minutes and then once it's just warm warm enough as in i can still put my hand in there after the five minutes are over i switch off the heat and just leave the light on and you guys my baked goodies have been coming out perfectly of course when it's hot it's easier but when it's cold it takes so much longer for bread and, and baked stuff to rise so i just thought to share with you guys this hack Now, if you are a fly lady system follower like me, you know that a lot of laundry is never done until we have folded the clothes and put them away. And you all know how passionate I am about folding clothes and putting them away. So I have to do that. And then part of the other clothes also need to be ironed. So normally on a daily basis, I may not be able to go through all the steps. But on a day that I've decided is laundry day, I have to make sure I do that. Plus, you all know how much I love ironing. So, for those who've been saying they don't like ironing, let me know if you have changed your mind yet. Down below. Guys, if you thought I loved ironing before, hey, you have no idea. Oh my gosh. So now I'm using this new Tefal iron box and oh my gosh, it is a steam iron. You guys, you guys, first of all, the finish of it all just here on where you place on your cloth, you guys, it is so soft and smooth. It glides very, very softly and that you can see that about most irons but the major thing that i love about this iron box you guys is that they have discovered a temperature that suits different types of fabric so there's no need at you to keep changing your setting for different fabrics as in you guys i'm ironing a t-shirt and then i'm ironing a woolen sweater and then i'm ironing a nylon jacket like what without having to change anything you guys you guys i'm telling you we have taken ironing to the next level those of us who, who don't like ironing i don't know what you're going to say now because once you get this iron box you my goodness you're going to be ironing for the rest of your life because uh-uh uh-uh this iron is the game changer guys yes this part of the video is sponsored by tifal very very kindly and you know i always really appreciate you guys when you support me and my sponsors because they have such amazing things and i will never recommend anything to you guys that i have not used and not loved so as i was saying about this iron box hello hello can you imagine not having to change the setting as in just switch it on and when you're ironing like an a woolen sweater it just says this is woolen used i mean it doesn't burn you guys gone are the days when we had iron box that were burning remember <laughs> i've literally done a video on this channel telling you guys how to clean your burnt iron box but you guys know more this i am so just by this iron box and because of this it makes ironing so quick for me because I don't have to keep changing settings or do these change settings for this jumper, change settings for this jeans trouser, change settings for this nylon jacket. No, I'm telling you guys, whichever cloth I pick, I iron. I pick, I iron. I pick, I iron. This iron box tells itself. Oh, now it's, it's whatever. Oh my gosh, you guys, I love it so much.
guys if you want to see how we go about life on a day-to-day -day basis let's see what i'm baking what we're cooking um and all that fun stuff i share most of this on instagram my handle is at suzy's homestead so make sure you follow me over there if you like and i will see you over there It's time to put away the laundry. Uh, so every of our child has, of course, their own place where their clothes are designated. And what I try to do is the new clothes that we've just washed, I put them under. I don't put them on top of the ones that are already there so that we cannot, we don't keep repeating the same clothes. I hope that makes sense. In the meantime, <laughs> our kids, well, we all took a break for like a few days, uh, for five days actually. And there's some clothes in this suitcase that I need to unpack, which are what our kids were wearing. But these ones are clean. And yeah, I, put, I need to put them away so that the room also is looking nice and neat. Our curtains are now dry. It's time for me to put them back. Oh, you might be wondering why I'm putting two sets of curtains on the same windows, you guys. Oh my gosh, I wish you could watch the video I did when we went to buy these curtains. But basically, after we had bought the curtains and put them on our window, z windows, we realized that they are not blackout curtains. And our kids sleep better when they have blackout curtains. So, I removed the blinds that I had, that I had bought. And then I put the old curtains because they're really blackout curtains just to keep out the light and then i put basically i just blacked out them blacked out them yes <laughs> Oh, one more thing you need to know about the Tifal Steam Ion, you guys. 
is that it irons it also has a function to iron vertically like for instance these curtains that i'm hanging here they are a bit damp and i don't i don't want to hang curtains that are a bit damp especially on this window because my son who sleeps next to this window has a bit of a chest problem so i want these curtains to be dry 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 and hello instead of having to lay them on a table and ironing them i'm using tefal steam iron vertical option because it can iron vertically i mean can you even so yeah that's what i'm doing and it gets so nice and dry and i don't have to worry about my son sleeping next to wet things thanks to this tefal iron box you guys so yeah those are just a few things of what i love about this iron box i am so jazzed Tomorrow, we are having a uh, homeschooling moderation day. Basically, what this means is we take all the stuff that we've been homeschooling. Oh, we are homeschoolers. I think I already mentioned that. And then we have a supervisor who goes through all the work that we have been doing. And then, so we just don't do it like in a vacuum. We have people who, who we are under people. Who, who watch over what they're doing so we don't mess up our kids' lives. <laughs> so we've really actually been talking about homeschooling on Instagram and I think uh, it was a consensus that we should I should just do an entire video of our homeschooling ex experience. I cannot wait to show you that, but that's, I need to pick out clothes for the kids to wear tomorrow as you go for the moderation. So that's it, guys. Thank you for hanging out with me as I do my laundry. As you can see, our last one has already blacked out. So the rest will be coming to bed shortly. I'm so glad the way their, their room looks so neat, so clean. They're sleeping in bed with clean bed sheets, clean curtains. Oh my gosh, the room smells amazing. Thanks for hanging out. Watch another video on this channel. I will see you over there. I really appreciate you. And bye.